Hello, my name is Dr. Shobhan. Hi, I'm Ying. Hi, my name is Shruti. And I'm a senior resident. I'm a year four medical student. I've just finished one semester of medical school at NUS Medicine. Something I wish I knew before entering medical school is that uh, NUS Medicine, life at NUS Medicine is more than just the academic aspect of it. Before entering medical school, I didn't think too much about like what the extracurricular life would be like in school. But then I was pleasantly surprised when I entered medical school because we are actually encouraged to pursue a lot of activities outside of medicine and these activities are actually seen to complement our curriculum in medicine and that's something uh, I really enjoy outside of academics and it's something I really appreciate about NUS Medicine. So usually at the age of 18, I think people overlook how important and how long this decision is. So if you think about it, more than a decade of your life is when people get married, people have kids, or even like people have to take care of their aging parents. So that's really a very long time in your life to be dedicating your time to. So I think it's very important to keep in mind this and make sure that you think through your decisions very carefully before taking the leap of faith. And I think uh, advice I'll give to juniors is that if you are really sure there's something that you want to do, do some clinical attachments with hospitals, go talk to more doctors and find out more whether this is something that you're up for and this is something that you want to commit the next 11 years of your life to. Hi, my name is Kelvin. I'm currently a medical officer. I just finished working overnight. I've not slept for two nights so far. Medicine is a lot tougher than you could ever imagine. And at each hour of the day, you are expected to make a decision that affects a patient's life. It changes your personality because you will have many nights spent wondering whether there's something that you could have done better for that patient that passed on. You will have many nights spent doubting yourself. Despite your best effort, the patient might get worse. The patient may not also actually truly really understand how much effort you have put in. That medicine is not just a vocation, but it's a calling. And it's a place that allows you to mould not just your hands, to give, but your heart to grow. It's a, a place where you are tried, you are tested, you are spoken down to, and sometimes it's hard to take, but it's also too that we grow in our character. Medicine is also a place where you fail. The passing rate for the Masters is not 100%. I have seen the best of my seniors fail over and over again at the Masters. I, I myself didn't make it through the first time as well. So it's definitely something to be prepared for, and it's something to also to welcome and to celebrate because it builds who you are as a person. The first thing is that probably it's a lot of hard work. Definitely more hard work than whatever you have seen on Grey's Anatomy or House or whatever. Medicine does not need to be competitive. Patients don't look at what score you get and patients don't look at whether you're a top student or not. At the end of the day, it's what you do with your knowledge and the compassion and stuff that you have. You can't function alone. Um, no matter how brilliant you are, there'll always be a team of people whom, whom you would depend on to make sure your patients get the best care. I'll be treating and spending a lot of time uh, treating other people but neglecting my own family and uh, not being at home when I want to be. Despite all the struggle or the challenges or the hardship of going to medical school or traineeship, I'm going to be okay. I will end up all right. What I wish I knew uh, before I enter medical school is um, the um, difficult journey that you're going to be going through because there's a lot of things that you need to learn to be a competent doctor but at the same time it's going to be a fulfilling and rewarding journey because uh, it is a unique profession that allows us to be as close as possible to our patients and um, it's a very human kind of profession.